Hi, so this week's video is going to be about why I am taking the tent on the GV Divide and not a bivy bag. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to show you how long it took me to put this tent up against how long it took me to put the bivy bag up. So as you can see there was no competition between the bivy bag and the tent it took like 20 seconds to put the bivy bag up and about three minutes to put the tent up and then i was just spent a load of time messing around with my dog and i even managed to put the bivy bag away before i'd even put finished putting the tent up however that and one other thing is the only advantages of using a bivy bag in my opinion the other advantage of using a bivy bag is weight so my bivy bag which is an out kit one weighs about 450 grams and my tent weighs about 1100 grams with the poles and the pegs that is just the bivy bag on its own and the tent is the full package which will keep you nice and dry give you privacy and keep you out of the way of the elements if you want similar advantages from the uh, bivy bag there's going to be a few extra things that you're going to need to take such as a tarp and then you're going to need to take rope and pegs to peg it all out and set it all up which also takes away the advantage of using the bivy bag for efficiency and time saving because then you're pegging out a tarp and setting the tarp up so I don't own a tarp um, because to be honest I slept in a bivy bag once and it rained and I thought you know what I'm not going to do this again um, so I didn't invest in a tarp and after looking at the weight of a tarp you can get maybe the right size tarp a really light one for about 100 grams then you've got the pegs and the ropes and all of that um, I just didn't think it was worth it the other advantage of the tent is obviously you're protected more against the elements and the animals like midges. So if you're going to go and camp in Scotland, there's no competition. You don't want to be sleeping in a bivy bag up. You're going to get eaten alive. So a tent is a clear winner when it comes to camping in Scotland. And hopefully I will be camping in Scotland if I make it that far. So another reason why I'm taking the tent and not the bivy bag is privacy. You can hide your valuables in there and you've also got more space. Um, you can obviously put your valuables in your bivy bag while you're sleeping there, but the likelihood is you're going to wake up with a smash camera and your GPS somehow finding its way up your nose. So before I go, I thought I'd talk about my tent and what it actually is. So it's a Chinese tent, it's a Flame Creed. Um, and it's dirt cheap but like I say it only weighs 1100 grams with the pegs and the poles and all of that so I've used it quite a lot and I can't really fault it to be honest I've used it in horrendous weather it has been absolutely spot on there's been no issues with it whatsoever I don't see the point in spending more money on a tent to be honest I think it cost me about 80 or 100 pounds something like that whereas a tent a similar weight um, and size when it packs down because it packs down really small it probably cost you I don't know probably double that if you bought like a known brand quite a lot of people use these actually that's where I found out I think you can also pick it up and it'll be known as a Lanshan one something like that you can get it from Aliexpress or there's people in the UK who sell them on uh, on eBay so yeah, that's why I'm taking a tent and not a bivy bag. In my opinion, why a tent beats a bivy bag, hands down. Unless you live in California or in the desert, and then I will let you have that argument. It's probably better to take a bivy bag in that case. But if you live in England, Scotland, Wales, you want a tent. Unless you want to be eaten alive, get soaking wet, and have all of your kit nicked. If you like the video, please subscribe and you be able to see how I get on in the GB divide if you do. Right, I'll see you next time. Bye.